Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about no dominance and over dominance about these modes of gene expression. But first I want you to remind a simple Mendelian genetics where we have for one locus, say this is locus A for the gene A and for example if we have two alleles, dominant and recessive allele, we of course can have three combinations of these alleles in diploid organism. It can be two dominant alleles or dominant and recessive allele or two recessive alleles. Again, in simple Mendelian genetics, these two genotypes would make one phenotype and this recessive genotype would make another uh, phenotype. So three genotypes and two phenotypes. This is simple dominance. And what is a no dominance? Take a look. Uh, for example, this line is not represent chromosome or anything like this. It's just a visual representation of what I'm going to explain. Imagine that we have some genotype here that is capital A and capital A. Here is another genotype which is capital A prime, capital A prime. So we don't have here no dominant, not recessive allele. We have just two different alleles. And for example, if we talk about plant, let's say that this plant is going to be one meter in height and this would be two meters. And if, for example, we will get another genotype, third genotype, which is going to be capital A and capital A prime. Phenotypic expression of this genotype would be exactly in the middle. So it's going to be 1.5 meters. So it is intermediate between these two. We call this no dominance. If this example was about qualitative trait, this trait is quantitative. Now Let's use another example for to demonstrate over dominance. Again, here is a line and let's say we have one genotype which is capital A, capital A here and here we have another genotype which is capital A prime and capital A prime. And now let's suppose that we cross these two genotypes and we got third genotype which is going to be heterozygous and which is going to be capital A and capital A prime. Again, if we use quantitative example, we are going to have, for example, this plant which is one meter height. This would be two meters and heterozygote would be two and half meters high. For example, this can be corn and not necessary that this number have to be uh, this number plus this number. This number just have to be bigger than any of these numbers. And this example is going to be what we call over dominance or we also sometimes call this heterozygous vigor. Again, this example, which we call no dominance. If you are still confused about over dominance or heterozygous vigor, this picture is going to help me to explain this idea. Imagine that we have here two inbred lines. That means that, for example, for the locus A, this parent has two dominant allele A's. Parent two has A prime and A prime allele and the plant here in the middle is a hybrid. This plant got one allele from parent one and another allele from parent two. So this plant is going to be capital A, capital A prime. And we see here example of the heterosis and not only plant itself and foliage is going to be bigger, but ear of corn is also going to be bigger in a hybrid. Again, this is example of the overdominance when hybrid shows better results than inbred parents. 
And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.